Good Saturday morning, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, I'm meteorologist Austin Onig with the latest edition of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Questions, concerns, ideas about what you would like to see on here, let me know at austin.onig at wrag.com. Forecast for today in the red bar at the bottom of your screen. We'll be seeing numbers way above normal in the 70s for today, about 20 degrees above normal. Winds will be out of the south, very breezy at about 15 to 25 miles an hour. We've already had wind gusts over over 40 miles per hour overnight and more chances of showers and thunderstorms and some of those could be on the strong to severe side. Some of those also continuing into tonight and look at the low temperatures in the blue triangle back in the mid to upper 20s for lows so quite the temperature difference as we go into the next about 24 hours or so. We'll detail what we have on the forecast coming up so stay tuned for more on that. Also keep it tuned to News Channel 3 later on today for the possibility of severe weather out there. Into the next few hours chances of showers and thunderstorms developing and fairly rapidly into this afternoon and this evening as temperatures push the high 60s to around the lower 70s throughout much of the rest of the day. So chances of showers and thunderstorms out there and continuing indoor activities probably going to be your best bet throughout the rest of the day today and into tomorrow. Definitely indoors as we see some much colder weather heading our direction. Plenty of clouds out there, some drizzle on the lens of Germantown City Hall camera just to the north of Germantown High School. More of our webcams from the Weatherbug system available at WREG.com slash webcams. Airport delays this morning, none to report at Memphis International. Cloudy and very breezy, but the green icon indicating no delays to be seen at this time. And across the country, as of early Saturday morning, LaGuardia seeing a few delays out this time, about 45 minutes plus, but beyond that, we're just not really looking at too much out there. Catch up with the latest information about delays at American airports around the continental United States and just a bit beyond at fly.faa.gov. Take a look at precipitation. Quick check of the Almanac, five hundredths of an inch of rainfall from yesterday. Or, and also bringing us up to two hundredths of an inch just above normal so we're almost exactly where we should be for December. We're about six inches plus for the entire year and into the rest of the forecast again very much on the chances of rainy side of opportunities for rain into the next couple of hours. We'll talk about that in just a bit. 56 are high yesterday, 28 are low above our normal high, below our normal low. Record low for today, 11 set in 1932, and record high of 76 set back in 1924. All right, let's go ahead and get into the information we've got through mid to late morning showers and possibly a few thunderstorms out there, and high temperatures by lunchtime in some areas easily back in the mid-70s, staying in the upper 60s to lower 70s through early this afternoon, but signs of things to come as our next front begins to make its way into and around the area close to around the Blytheville area, northeastern parts of Arkansas could be looking at some potential areas of rain showers getting a lot colder as that front begins to move a little bit closer to us. So we'll be seeing those temperatures dropping by just a little bit into the area of northeastern Arkansas. And then we see the possibility of some thunderstorms out there into around where that front is moving on through the area. Much cooler to the north, much warmer to the south. And as that storm system moves on through, again, it'll be passing through the Mid-South as we get into the early evening hours. So if you're heading out of the town, be prepared for, again, taking shelter as necessary. If there is any severe weather, we'll break in and let you know about it. And then getting into the overnight hours from News Channel 3 at 10, all that stuff moving on down toward the south and to the east and making its way uh, into and around the area of northeastern parts of Mississippi, southeastern Arkansas. Could be some very strong weather out there. And then beyond that, as we get into early tomorrow morning, that's where we see again the potential of some precipitation freezing and or frozen into much of the area here. And that again could stick to the roadways thanks to the fact that we have again the potential of some very cold temperatures and all that moisture left over. We could see some slick spots on bridges and overpasses into very early tomorrow morning. And temperatures tomorrow in the afternoon barely above freezing in some areas, mainly in the mid to upper 20s, and then plummeting into the teens as we go toward News Channel 3 at 10 on Sunday evening. Possibility of severe weather forecast. Again, mainly what we're looking for is for today. This updated from the Storm Prediction Center at spc.noaa.gov if you'd like to know more about that and check in with the forecast often. That's again going to be our forecast for today. Main threat to be damaging winds and large hail. And then the threat leaves us back to the east and to the south as we go towards Sunday and into Monday. Main thing we're looking for at this time 
is again going to be a slight risk category of severe weather, mainly this afternoon into early this evening, and the main weather types for anything involving severe weather will be damaging winds, possibility of some hail, but the main secondary threat is going to be isolated tornadoes. Now into this evening, again, we'll see a lot of changes coming on through with thunderstorms today, some of which could be severe, colder air into overnight, that's where we get into, again, the possibility of rain, sleet, snow mixture across much of the area. Much colder, again, for the next couple of days. Zero degree wind chills, even lower than that possible in parts of the Mid-South by Monday morning. And then the rest of the week, good for travelers. No rainfall expected. Temperatures returning to near normal back in the lower 50s. And then back into the 40s for Christmas Eve with a few showers possible. And then by Christmas Day, chilly but dry and a mixture of clouds and sun back in the lower 40s for high temperatures for the big day itself. Taking a look out into the area of Iraq, temperatures in the lower 60s across much of the country with the exception of 41 degrees currently around Mosul. Into the rest of the Persian Gulf, temperatures in the 60s and 70s, nothing made. Again, into Afghanistan, some very cold numbers, <coughs> excuse me, but the area especially into around Kabul. Temperatures in the lower 40s, mid to upper 40s around Faizabad, 60s around Herat and Kandahar, and back toward the DMZ of South Korea and down to around the ocean areas. We've got, again, temperatures in the 30s and lower 40s. Check out my forecast available at these social media websites, especially Aonic underscore WRAG3. Pass along your pictures, and I'll, be, I'll do my best to feature them on News Channel 3 on the air. And check out my forecast on radio on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 throughout the rest of the weekend. And don't forget about our weather app for whatever tablet or device you have, search WREG Weather for more information about what to look for and how to get our app so you can stay up to date on weather online as well as on air. Again, possibility of severe weather into the evening hours. We'll be watching that with a lot of interest, so definitely stay tuned to News Channel 3. And overnight could be some slick spots out there, so definitely want to keep it tuned for more information about roadways as we go toward early tomorrow morning. Again, questions or ideas, let me know. Austin.onic at WREG.com and more updates through Throughout the rest of the day on air and online with News Channel 3. Thanks for joining me for today's latest update of Weather Overtime for Saturday morning, and stay tuned to News Channel 3 for updates tonight at 5, 6, and 10.